Um, I'm gonna use this a two pound clay to start with, especially for a beginner. I think two pound is a good size to start with. Um, make sure that when you are placing your clay uh, on the wheel head or on the bed, you don't want to trap the air bubble inside. So meaning you don't want to have a cup, kind of produce a cup. If the uh, the uh, center point is, is a little bit lower, uh, just by rotate your clay this way, okay? Uh, so that the middle part is higher. So then uh, when you place on it, uh, it's not going to uh, uh, trap the air bubble underneath, okay? So that's the first thing. The second is that uh, before you put it on, you might want to put it on, put the clay on your hand and kind of uh, slap on it, pound on it. So it's more or less in the uh, circular shape, okay? Circular shape. Right? And I saw a lot of people uh, showing you that you might want to do this, okay? So that you clay stick. Uh, you don't have to do that, okay? Uh, especially, it's hard to aim it at very center, and once you put it on, and you have to m try to move it, okay? So, uh, I have a better way to do that. Um, if you have wooden bed, um, just simply get a sponge and wet it, and, and then uh, spin the wheel, and make a circle, okay? So that you know where your center is, and just by placing your clay in the circle. Okay, so your piece is more or less in the center. And the reason why you want to kind of uh, slap on it, uh, slam on it is that you want to create a stick. So a little bit of, uh, if you have a wooden bed, a little bit of water. If you have a metal bed, like the uh, metal here, actually, if you are using a metal bed, actually the wheel head has some kind of a circle. If the circle is gone, you can just simply use a pencil, right? Spin the wheel and put a pencil there and you can draw your circle easily. Okay, so uh, that is the tip for you if you are uh, using the very old wheel that don't have the circle. Just use a pencil to do that. Okay, so the your piece is more or less in the center. Now, the next thing is to get your clay to stick. So by doing uh, this way. So when you are kind of slap on it, it's kind of, this method is called slap centering. So you are adjusting your clay. And not only you adjust because you are spin, kind of slowly spin your wheel, but also you are making sure that your clay stick Okay, your clay stick. Now, by doing so, your clay stick on the pedal on the wheel head. Okay, so that's the uh, very important step. You don't need to uh, stamp down it. Okay, just place in the center. And let's spin the wheel. You see that the piece is more or less in the center already, so you will have less error try to uh, push the clay around. Okay, that's the first thing. Um, then the next sec second one is that I'm gonna show you uh, a trick, okay? If I'm uh, holding my my hand on the splash pan, see that? Find a very steady spot. Um, you trim the clay, it's even better that the your piece is in the center. Right? So that's, the, you cut off the clay. But normally when we center, we don't do that, okay? We don't uh, reduce the clay, okay? We don't uh, remove the clay. We are moving the clay to the spot to fill in the gap if your piece is not in the very uh, center. So by doing so, it's just, I hope that the reason I'm showing you doing that is that if you find a stage spot, it's very easy to cut your clay into a center piece. But, for center, usually we are doing this way, just by pushing the clay. And um, for pushing the clay, actually first, you might wanna adjust your speed of the wheel, okay? 
Uh, usually, I recommend people, uh, and when you are centering, you want to speed up a tiny little bit, but not at the full power. Okay, I would say, okay, this is full power. Okay, I give me nervous like hundred percent, but if you reduce it to like seventy five percent, okay, I think that is a good speed to uh, center. Okay, um, I find out the uh, beginner when they are centering. When they are pushing, their foot on the pedal also pushing, so your speed tend to not consistent. Okay, uh, so once you adjust your speed, you might want to just push your pedal away from it and just focus on the top. Right, so that's the speed. And then when uh, you try to push the clay, and the clay is not in the center, okay, so you're gonna push your, your hands back. So you have to find a very steady spot. Usually, if you have a splash pen like this wheel, uh, you can rest on here, or you can rest, okay, put your foot right there, and then rest your arm, your elbow on your foot, okay. So, to find a steady spot to support your hand, okay, support, okay. And the third one is the, uh, when uh, you are try to push the clay, you will create a lot of friction, so you know, keep it slippery, okay, slippery. Uh, how you make your clay slippery? Just add the water on your hand and then touch up on the clay. You don't need to get a, a, a sponge and then squeeze a lot of water. Usually the water doesn't stick on the surface. It just go into the uh, splash pan. And by the uh, uh, state, when you finish, you've got lots of water there you need to clean up. You don't need to do that. Just get your hand wet and then touch up. That's all you need, okay? And once you feel it's a lot of friction, and then do that again. Okay, all right. And now I want to show you how my fingers go against the clay. So basically, since the wheel is spinning counterclockwise, so uh, I don't want the uh, left fingertip to uh, touch the clay. Instead, I'm going to use my right fingertip. Okay, so that's one spot that is touching. And then the second one, I will use this part here. I don't need to uh, do that like using this part here. Usually I'm using this part here. Okay, so this is my left hand. Okay, left hand is pushing the clay into the center by finding a, a very good support. Push it in. And this fingertip, you don't want to do anything. Okay, just this point here. And then the right hand. Okay, so another point here. I'm pushing the clay. So this and this and then the third point is going to be my right fingertip just the wheel spinning counterclockwise it's kind of forming a triangular okay one spot here one spot here and the third spot is going to be my fingertip and i don't recommend using the center of your palm to do that okay you are wasting your energy kind of curve your fingers so kind of Create triangular shape, one spot here, one spot here, and one spot here. So three point, and then the right fingertip can rest on my, the left fingertip can rest on my right finger tip. And then the three point and just point to the uh, the center and then uh, squeeze it out. Right, so three point. Um, you don't need to go very fast, just slowly. And then the third one, the fourth one, so when you squeeze the clay up, you want to release slowly, okay? So that's the uh, first squeeze up. And you can see that when I squeeze up, it's like a cone shape. And you don't need to cone it uh, very, very high, okay? Uh, it's not necessary, okay, unnecessary. Now, after you cone it up, they're almost centered here already. And just the bottom portion is not quite centered yet. So we can focus on here and then just bring the clay toward the center using the right finger. You see that I brace my arm and then just squeeze that. Okay. And now I'm going to push the clay back down. Again, the right hand still stay on the same spot. And then my left hand is moving. Let me use this point here. Okay, this point. And pushing from 
attack toward the center and then when I move it down I am slowly move down like that okay so let me show you only my left hand okay this is what my left hand is doing right here and this hand is kind of rest slightly rest mostly is the push from the left hand right so that's the left hand and since you have about two hands so you actually the right hand if you stay and then do that and sneak away slowly the clay has nowhere to go okay so one more time slowly release and then the left hand the right hand underneath and the clay is nowhere to go okay so that, that's the uh, basic centering squeeze slightly squeeze the cone it up and then I push down and you don't need to cone up uh, sky high okay so that's the uh, basic throwing and the uh, common uh, mistake people are making is that when they try to squeeze it up they tend to uh, kind of flat the top so when they are uh, uh, squeezing the clay up they, they will create a volcano yeah we call this called volcano so when you try to squeeze it up make sure that it's kind of like a cone shape Instead of making it flat, I know a lot of people pushing this way, okay. But instead of, um, I am quite opposite the way that people are showing, okay. I saw a lot of people doing this, okay. Actually, I am pushing the clay onto my right hand. I'm, the right hand is the hand, so I'm using right hand to control the clay. So this way. So you will have no volcano if you try to squeeze it when you start with the cone shape if you have a flat top you are going to end up with a volcano okay and also people making a mistake it is that they don't brace the elbow okay so the hand is is kind of hanging up in the air so that you don't have a support and it's easy not easy for you to try to push the clay to the center so always if you can find a support on a splash pan or even your body okay and even your laps that will be uh, a better okay so so basically um i will uh, conclude it okay when you try to center okay first thing is speed okay speed control not only the wheel speed i told you that and you want to go around 75 uh, percent of the uh, full speed okay 75 percent not too slow not too fast and then also your hand moving speed okay have you have to according to the speed of wheel okay let me let me show you the uh, the hand the finger so you have to have a full uh circle before you move it up okay like here if you are moving your hand this see that it's not full circle and then you start to move up so you have to do it consistently but steady okay like here full circle full circle and then full circle so that's the uh, moving speed of your hands okay so speed is the first s okay i will talk about s okay s okay the first speed control moving speed of the wheel and moving the speed of the hand second slippery okay slippery Make sure that it's when you try to push the clay, you create a lot of friction. So slippery is important. So constantly add the water to make the slip. You don't want to add too much water. Okay, just enough water. Okay. The third one is that finding a very good support. Okay, good support of your hands. So on the splash pan, if your splash pan is very steady and uh, strong, rest on splash pan or even on your last. And you can put your your knees right there your left right there so you, you could have a very good support all right so 
That's the third S. And the fourth S is that when you push the clay, it's a lot of pressure. And then when you release, you want to go slowly, okay? Slowly you release your hands. So that's four S's. Up. And you don't need to go uh, call the sky high. It's unnecessary. Okay, so that's the uh, basic throwing, centering for uh, two pounds of clay. Right, let me show you uh, five pounds of clay. Again, make sure that there's no air trap in the bot in the, on the bottom. Um, uh, you can find your circle easily. Right, five pound of clay. First, I will try to seal it. Adjust the speed. Slippery. Finding very good support. On three point pressure. Slightly goes up. On push back down. Slippery. Push back down. And you see that my hand is kind of curving. Try to use the um, the strong part of the finger. Okay. If you do that, you're wasting your energy. Curve your fingers. Slippery. Squeeze it up. One, two, three. Sneak away. Right. So five pound of clay, the same uh, principle apply. And also, uh, Sometimes, the, especially the beginner, they can not tell if the piece is centered or not. So you can, there are a couple ways to tell if your piece is centered. Okay, you can lean your body uh, back, okay, and look at from a little bit this distance. Okay, maybe a three feet, okay, two, three feet. And if you see the clay is still kind of wobbly, that's not center. Or you can do this. Kind of form your finger right there, so it's like your your lens. So if you see that the clay is wobbly, okay, that's not center. Right. So that's the one other way to tell if your clay is in the very good center. Okay. So that's five pounds of clay. So now this is 10 pounds of clay. Finding your center and place your clay right 
in the center. Alright, I stick two pieces of clay so you have to make sure the clay is blending together. Right, 10 pounds of clay. Okay, first adjust my speed again. And once the piece is, is larger, you don't need to go like 75%. Smaller, you go 75. A little bit larger, maybe 60% of the full power. Okay. Right. And then again, one spot, two spot, three spot here, and curve the fingers and brace my arm and then move up. Okay. And then push back down. And you see that when I'm pushing back down, my right arm is not moving. Just keep on bracing on the uh, splash pen. So for the larger piece of clay, I actually just try to focus on the outer part of the uh, clay. And I don't usually try to squeeze the whole piece of clay so that I will save a lot more uh, energy. Right here, that this part here is not quite even, just focus on that part. and move my right fingertips okay my right fingertips moving to move the clay So no matter how big your clay, if you don't push the uh, whole piece of clay, you will be able to just save your energy by just focusing on the outer part. Right, so that's the uh, centering that uh, try to use the point pressure. So I keep on emphasize using my right fingertip to do that, okay, um, by curving the finger so that I create a larger uh, pressure on the surface. So this is the uh, very uh, common sense and the basic physics. So if you try to put your hand and try to push the clay, it wasting your energy. But by curving uh, slightly curving your fingers, you are using the, the tip, a smaller area touching the surface. 
actually you create more pressure. Okay. Uh, so the uh, let me explain it. Okay. So if you have a needle, you try to do it's easy to push the clay in, right? And if you try to use this to push, you need to have a lot of a larger effort to push it in. So the smaller area, the smaller area on the surface, you create more pressure. So the same thing when you are pushing the clay, you curve your fingers. Just use the fingertip, you are moving the clay a lot more easier. Okay, versus this. So I saw people teaching on the YouTube that they say that you that use that part. No, okay. Try to curve fingers. See the finger mark? That's my right fingertip is doing the job. And I move the clay a lot easier. And it's a lot effortless. Okay, hope this tip help. Uh, the uh, basic centering, okay. From uh, two pounds, five pounds, and 10 pounds of clay. Even 20 pounds, you do that the same thing, okay. And it will be a lot uh, effortless try to move a larger amount of clay. All right, so see you next time. I will show you how I open, okay, to the method to open the hole in my next video.